in this video we're gonna consider how to do sequence uh, routing sequence uh, we've already considered we've done two videos about sequence please uh, and both links are provided in the box below uh, please subscribe to my channel it's motivates me to do more videos if you have any questions write to my email address uh, so this is the video and we have both boys one from the good schools and one from bad schools they leave they go to the candy shop uh, the good one, um, they choose a lollipop, they pay for it, and when they walk through the park and they dispose of the sticks and wrapper and bin. While the bad one, they just walk, uh, they follow bad routes, they don't pay, um, they toss their trash in the park and they paddle in the water, paddle here before they get home and they don't throw it in the bin. So I'm gonna show you the sequence how it's done. So we have both student one from good school, one from bad schools. This one get the both get the candy. This one pay for it. The others they don't pay. The ones wearing the big uh, pants. So they go here and to the. You could see here how they dispose it properly. But here they pedal in the water and then they play with the dogs and then. This robot in the park, and then they leave. As is in here, okay. The advantage of doing this, uh, the advantage of doing this, is you don't have to define the route where it's getting from to where it's getting to. You just have it. You just have like through the entity you define the the sequence which one is gonna follow, like good sequence or as it sees here as bad sequence, bad route. And for the advanced transfer, you can the sequence here. We have two good routes and the bad route, which is select the candy, pet the dog, splash the puddle, and toss in the ass. Okay, so if you have any question regarding this, how it's done, please start by doing the other two videos where the link is provided in the box below. And just this one should be very easy to do if you manage to do the other two. 